Hey, this is Susan Egan, Broadway's original Belle in Beauty and the Beast and the voice of Megara in Disney's Hercules. And you're listening to the Magic Our Way podcast with Wonder Boys, Kevin, Danny, Eli, and Lee. And they are a real slice. And yes, that music's a little different, but this is something that we're trying out here. A, a new little segment we like to call Magical Musings. We're tired of people stealing all of our old stuff, so we just figured we'd create some new stuff. Yes. It's it's so hard to be innovative. Got to keep them on their toes, right? Yeah. Keep them nice and speaking of toes. Keep them honest. (laughs) Yeah. Speaking of toes. Yeah. So uh, these little shows are, you know, short little snippets of just our random thoughts. And if you guys listen to the show enough, uh, you know that we can go off on some pretty interesting discussions for sure. Tangents. Tangents, if you will. Yeah. Uh, So... uh, we decided to consolidate our little conversations and uh, present these little shows called Magical Musings. So mm-hmm. totally different numbers, not part of our normal episode rotation. So that's why, you know, probably the art looks a little different. The numbering looks a little different and the music even looks a little different. Sounds. Sounds different. Yeah. Yes. Not look. looks. That's right. If you could see music. It's Fantasia. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, yeah. devil. You might, you might want to see what you took <laughs> that day. Yeah, you see what I, I see hear. these little mushrooms you, going You might have gotten roofied. Uh, I love I might have, yeah. Just saying. Eli, you roofing me? You all the time. Oh, that's good. Okay. <laughs> keep you smiling. That's my job. He poisons every cup here, can I tell you? It's, it's, it's a numbers game for Eli. <laughs> Sooner or later, he's going to get you. <laughs> it's okay. You safe with me. <laughs> so, guys, welcome to Magical Musings by the Magic Ari Podcast. Oh, 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 oh yeah. yeah. And, guys, look, a uh, quick announcement just to remind you, we do have a Patreon, so if you want to support us, or elevate your support of the Magic Our Way podcast, man. Head, head over to patreon.com forward slash Magic Our Way. We have five awesome tiers from which you could choose from. And there's all kind of benefits towards that, man, for mm. sure. So especially if you've been watching any of our videos on YouTube, you, 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 got, you got your name at the end of video at every video. So you get recognized every time for being a, a lovely supporter of our show. So, yeah, make sure you head out there, patreon.com forward slash Magic Our Way and support. Your Magic Are We Podcast. And that music's a little different. It's been a while since we played that, but uh, that's what we use for our little Magic Are We segments and stuff. And so uh, Lee had this little uh, idea he wanted to talk about. Um, Lee, what is it? What, what, what do you want to talk about? What, what is this? I know this is going to sound weird. So hopefully no one calls for banning me off the show or something. But so it's already weird now. Yeah, and they've already yeah. done that. I'm already, yeah, too late. Uh, too Where late. this is going, you can yeah. only redeem yourself at this point. Weird. I'm scared. I hurt. So I'm at work today doing the audit, counting the shoes, and did you fire anybody? No. no? Well, not yet. We'll, <laughs> we'll see about it tomorrow. I was gonna say it's only Wednesday. Yeah. <laughs> give them. Give oh, them it's a early in the week. They go oh, to jail. Okay. They go to jail. You know, put them in jail. Yeah, the, the the week is still young. Yes, uh, <laughs> plenty of time to fire people. Right. Plenty of yeah. time. You bail on Saturday. No, no rush. No rush. Um, but anyway, so like, if you've ever sold shoes, which you guys have and I have, mm-hmm. um, you gotta deal with some funky feet sometimes, and you know, <laughs> it's not <laughs> the most exciting part of the job. I'll it reminds just say me that. of Al Bundy, like right, <laughs> Mary <Mary-Tudonia, laughs> yeah. shoe salesman. And he had he always made fun of people with funky feet or whatever. Stuff yeah, like that. yeah. That exactly. That's exactly. what you're talking about. That is that, is that what is that true to life? It's somewhat. It can be. It can be. Okay. You know? um, okay. I got. I could tell you. I've got some stories. But uh, all this is to say, like, I don't know why this crossed my mind, but I'm like, I wonder, like, what Disney character, whatever you want to call, it, not just animated characters but in the in the parks whatever anything that has to do with disney Mm -hmm. who has the funkiest feet (laughs) Uh, oh that's a great question they came into the store like okay so i'll give you an example Uh, okay because there's a lot of barefoot disney characters well let's say yzma came into the store okay i gotta imagine that she's got some crazy corns and jacked up hammer toes and all that you know like I don't know. Want to wait on Isma and help her try on some shoes? I don't think she does a lot of walking. In fact, you probably just throw any anything would fit her those feet. 
She gets carried by Krug Gronk. She's like 200 Gronk. years old. You know you what? Know, I, like, I, oh. I'll tell you who has the nicest Disney feet. Oh. Ariel. Because they ain't never been used. <laughs> like, yeah, brand new. These new feet. She's already there. way into her teen years before she started using those feet. So those feet. That's a good are, point. Yeah. And, and they're well moisturized. Right. And she gets in the ocean every <laughs> once in a while, too. So they get washed off there. So I bet you Ariel has the nicest feet. Well, non callous, mm. And then it gets blistered from walking around right. for the first time. I bet. Yeah. I bet you Ariel has some pretty sweet feet. But funkiest feet. Funkiest. Feet. Oh, that's yeah, a like, lot. Like if they came in, if they came in the more store right now, like who would I would not want to help them out? Yoda, Yoda, oh, for sure. <laughs> any Ewok, any, any Ewok. Ewok. I wouldn't want to go near those feet. That's definitely a short order. <laughs> Chewbacca, for that matter. Yoda, you got to cut them nails, man. No, 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 no. They, they kind of got a little bit yellow. About what about Raycor feet? You watch well, right. That? Oh, that's some nasty, <laughs> nasty, nasty feet. Oh shoot, we could just talk about everybody in yeah, Java's palace. Like anybody. <laughs> you know, the big belly dude and uh Oh god. The, the guy that cried up over the dead rancor and uh <laughs> Oh the uh, traitor? Well maybe yeah. he wore shoes. Uh, or uh, Bit Fortuna, maybe Bit Fortuna got I think he had shoes, but he didn't look he bathed. I never saw his feet because he had these long cloaky robes. I, oh, that's never, true. I don't think I ever saw uh, he, even the toy didn't show his feet. Yeah, he might have some some, some sandals. Or something. I'm envisioning like 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 uh, uh Voldemort feet. You, ever, you remember from the Harry Potter movies? Yeah. So he's got a long cloaky. So I'm like, maybe their feet's like that. Oh boy. Ooh, hard to tell, man. They could be, but they could have sandals on underneath his feet. Yeah, they could. Yeah, like yeah. Timberlands. <laughs> yeah, I bet you didn't know Voldemort wore Timberlands. You got yeah. them Jordans, right? Mm, oh yeah. <laughs> he's pointed like, man, I can't show you my kicks. They clean. So we each got to pick a character with funky feet. Oh God. No, I mean. Yeah, you can pick somebody. I'm just thinking off the top of my head. Like, I, I know uh, automatically who I would pick. Who's like, that? If you ask me who I would pick. Who would you, uh, pick? Who'd yeah, who'd you well, pick? Well, is that what we're doing? Sure. Who, who would you pick that has the, the funkiest feet of, in all of Disney lore? Oh, God. That drunk pirate on the bridge <laughs> with those dangling toes. <laughs> and the hair. The hair on <laughs> the feet. That pirate freaks me out every time we go underneath it and we get close to that funky ass foot that drunk pirate on the on, on the bridge <laughs> of pirates of the caribbean bar none funkiest feet in all of disney lore wow huh. Ugh. there's the cure for something in there you know yeah. it's penicillin stuck yeah, in between the toenails yes wow <laughs> and it just falls on your head every time you pass underneath it uh, yeah. he, oh, he takes his toes like like no matter what, and I know it's an, but my my body contorts itself away <laughs> from that foot every time you we bring a can of Lysol and just kind of spray it when you walk by. Oh, yeah, wow. no, I would definitely, I would definitely go with him. Well, you know, along with mm-hmm. that, what I would pick is, and, and this attraction is not a long ago, but if we're talking about all of Disney lore, this has to be included. But there used to be these cavemen in the World of Motion attraction. Oh, and you would see it because it's all world of motion was all about transportation, right? Of course, world of motion. Mm-hmm. But yeah, you'd see these footsteps, footsteps, because they're talking about the start of the whole transportation thing or when people started being mobile. Right, right. And then you cut to the scene. The wheel. Yeah, they've been yeah. wheeling. But then you cut to the scene of these uh, cavemen just sitting on the ground and they're blowing on their feet because they're so hot. <laughs> oh, that's right. Over. Yeah. <laughs> so this dude's got some big cheeks and he's got these nasty crusted over feet. Mm-hmm. He's like, <laughs> it's so hot. I mean, you can find these videos on YouTube. And you can see that exact scene that I'm talking about. But that, for some reason, that always stuck in my head. And maybe it was because I, I knew those feet were going to be like, just, just, ugh. <laughs> you know? Because <laughs> yeah, they're walking through the dusty caves and, and whatever, the land. And, you know, they're they all hot and steamy now. And they're trying to cool it off. Ugh. Well, so it wasn't over. made back then either. Well, for that matter, like the Yeti, yeah. the Yeti's got to have some funky ass feet then, too. Yeah, because, you know, yeah, they're probably like claws, right? Because he's got to climb up the mountain and stuff. Yeah. Like- those claws with the fungus underneath. Oh yeah, and all no, that no. dancing he does, you mm-hmm. know, the, all that disco dance. Oh, disco. Yeah. <laughs> Since he don't move no yeah. more, that's collected underneath. The skin is probably rotted. Yeah. <laughs> oh, gross. That's true. He ain't getting no oxygen. His feet is so funky, it broke the foundation. <laughs> <laughs> they, they clean can't yourself. Work yeah, them they, anymore. They, they had to redo the whole ride. That's yeah. No, people were passing out on the ride and stuff. Anybody that's barefoot is automatically in the club, you know, because like. Like Rick and Ralph, I don't know if they're funky, but the dude's got no shoes. He's walking mm-hmm. around like they're candy, big. all these candy land, getting chocolate stuck to his feet, and he's climbing the candy cane tree, right? You know, that's all sticky, and then he got stuck in the marshmallow. Like, imagine like how gross his feet are from walking around 
you know, barefoot all the time. Well, he sleeps on those uh, bricks too. So yeah, that doesn't help. <laughs> sleeps on <laughs> bricks. So he's got to walk yeah. on the bricks. He pounds them, and he, you know, he sleeps in rubble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's his bed. He Nothing it. about that says prestige. Uh, no. <laughs> I mean, you know, figure the bricks will cut his feet, and it's all nasty and just. Ugh. Well, that's straight dirt. Well, that's just straight. straight dirt. That's just straight nasty. That's all the grab. That's you probably gotta like file some of the dirt from under his feet just to get to his actual feet. Ooh, that's nasty. Well, that's his nasty. knuckles from beating on stuff too can't be all that nice. <laughs> I don't know. I've never seen him take a bath. Where, how's he take a bath? I, in a, in a, in a, in a uh, candy he, syrup lake or something? He hangs out E Honda's bathtub, I guess. Um, <laughs> <laughs> e Honda. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thousand hand slap. Thousand hand slap. Who would you go with for the funkiest feedy? God, this is crazy. Um, I I have to go with the Hulk. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because that's a dude, number one, doesn't wear shoes. Number two, he's been off the planet, so you don't know how bad space dirt is. Oh, he got some space fungus in his That's right. He got space dirt. Yeah. He's got, you know, he's got earth dirt. He's got, you know, I don't know what the dirt's like in Wakanda, but I mean, like every place this dude's been, he's barefoot. Yeah. There's nothing clean about that. And and look, it ain't nothing against him because he's green, but I cannot imagine radioactive feet on its own nature being that sanitary. Oh, you know, I wonder though, like when he changes back to Banner, I wonder if the feet nastiness stays. It it kind of does stay because dirt ain't gonna like dirt doesn't mutate back to normalcy. He doesn't. Like, he got, yeah. yeah, he mutates to clean feet. No, he would have some funky feet. I can see that. Feet. So keeps- Banner included, so Hulk and Banner. And, okay, Hulk- imagine how many creatures he stepped on. Yeah, I be, you know now you say that I bet you that's the first thing Banner does after transforming back is he goes to get a pedicure, <laughs> <laughs> gets the chunks of, of of people out of his toenails. Well, and, well, yeah, hell, he man, goes and buys a new pair of shoes. He's got to mm-hmm. buy a new pair because his feet through ripped through the other ones. Exactly. Mm-hmm. That's why yeah. the Avengers travel alone and he works separately because they know I bet. Like Journeys is like, yo, Mister Banner. Good to see you again. <laughs> you know, by that matter, you could say Trader Sam has some nasty feet. Oh, oh around that jungle, right? Oh. Does he even exist anymore? Because he's kind of amorphous now. We don't even know who he is. Oh, he just kind of walked off the he's set. He's a businessman now. <laughs> yeah. He walked off the set, but he yeah. trudged through all this dirt and the nastiness. Mm. I'd, I'd also go for he nasty. Very nasty. He looked like oh, even the tribal, it. like the tribe people dancing up and down, which are no longer there too. Very much. They've been dancing for a long time. That's <laughs> some calloused over feet. And it's dangerous to stick your feet in that water out it there. Is. It you is. You see how Jungle Cruise is. You can't just hang out there and wash your feet. Mike Be. Wazowski's got to have some pretty funky feet. Hmm. Alien feet now, and not monster feet. Now, not so. monster feet. Yeah, and a monster. What about Roz? Does Roz have feet, or she doesn't? No, even have feet? she has one big. She's just a, like a slug. slug. Yeah, she's like slug a slug. slug. So That'd be slug. like saying. Oh. Jabba has feet. Well, I mean, Sully's got hair all over the body. Little little bitty feet under there. (laughs) Yeah, but I mean, uh, those toenails of Mike Wazowski, there's something living underneath there. (laughs) Although, I guess Sully's got some toenails too then. I'm just thinking like stuff getting caught up in his hair around his Uh, feet. uh, You know? Speaking of hair and feet, what about Rocket? The raccoon? Raccoon? Oh, Rocket Raccoon? Does he wear shoes? No, he's he's Rocket. I was going to say, I don't think he wears shoes. He's straight up raccoon. That's All a raccoon, but I don't mm. know. I mean, I've never seen him lick the 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 paws. Say, his, does he clean his feet? Like I was gonna say, I've never did? seen him do that. I mean, you know, no one's him except him. But uh, I, I well, I saw him one day. He was grooming himself at one point, and, and so looking at his feet. I think no, no, no. Like he was grooming <laughs> some part of his body. Like he was like cleaning himself. I believe. Oh, okay. Maybe when they were trapped, when they were trapped in the second movie. I could be wrong. It's been a long time, but I do seem to remember that he was like grooming himself. Or I want to go watch that now. Yeah, I was going to say I rocket exhaust. I yeah. Want, I want Hanging out in trees. Still, other maybe planets. I just imagined that that's what he was doing. <laughs> it, was a, it was a fantasy. <laughs> that's it was what you fantasy. were hoping. <laughs> yeah. It was a farce. Oh, that's the mummy in the haunted mansion. That's got to be some funky feet in that mummy coffin. Oh, yeah, that is old feet. What about, yeah. the, uh, what about the ghost in haunted mansion? He doesn't have shoes, but I don't know how ghost feet work. Well, I mean, they're amorphous globs. You have to have, like, feet. Yeah, but, uh, right. Uh, well, what about the grave? The, 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 the dude with the dog? The, uh, 
Hmm. Well, he's still living. I don't think his feet is undead yet. Yeah, but he's he got is. shoes on. Uh, okay, yeah. but he does, hmm. does he take care of his feet though? I love his feet. I mean, no. his, his clothes are kind of poor, so I mean, maybe. He's- <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he has sideburns, but other than that, he shaves, so he takes care of his face. He 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 grooms. He grooms. Uh, okay, okay, maybe. Uh, I can imagine the that, that. Yeah, if he I takes his boots of- off and he has the best looking feet ever. <laughs> Check oh. it out, clean. Oh. Gus, the hitchhiking ghost. That's oh, yeah, yeah, there you go. go. There yeah, you that's got to be some funky feet. That's some old. That's feet. what because it's like that's dead feet, but it's ethereal feet. Well, can you smell dead feet? That's a great question. I don't know. There's a there's a. Can you smell ghost feet? Yeah, I don't know. Hmm. I can't imagine though it would be good, right? <laughs> What's the sound of one hand clapping? <laughs> <laughs> Boo! What's the sound of one foot stomping? <laughs> No, there's a lot of people. I'm gonna stick with my pirate. I'm sure y'all. Wait, so you sticking with? Uh, I'll Hulk stick with Hulk. And I got Lee, you go with Ralph. Kid. Yeah, I'll, I'll stick with Ralph. I mean, again, I think only because Isma has never been shown barefoot. Maybe not, but I, I still believe she's probably got some hammer toes in there at least. Oh, I, I would not be so. I'm sure Kermit's got. <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> oh, wow. around swamps. I'm sure he's got some serious swamp foot. That's fair. Tarzan, a yeah. piggy. Oh, Tarzan. Oh, Tarzan. Oh, Tarzan's Tarzan, a yeah. great one. He slides down fungus. <laughs> yeah, he's laying on trees with his feet. He's Ooh. hanging on some ropes with his feet. Yeah, Mowgli. Put- what about Mowgli? Oh, yeah. Mowgli. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he does. Mm. Okay. He's in the jungle. Yeah, and he hangs out and rides on animals. You don't oh, know where they've been. Mowgli, All right, yeah. So is anybody changing their pick? I'm going to stick with my funky footed pirate. Well, Ooh. I like my cabin, but I'm, I got to go with Yoda because, I mean, those feet are nasty. Yeah, <laughs> feet are rough. Yeah, I'm going to stick with Yoda. And he is in a swamp, and yeah, he's yeah. got all the bad elements. He's got long nails. It's all just, it's yellow. Mm-hmm. It's like, you know, come on, man. I yeah. think that's what he died. They never told you what Yoda died of, but I think it was from athletes. <laughs> <laughs> he like turned over. Oh, foot hurt it is. <laughs> I mean, he was walking with a cane at one point. Come on. It was a foot thing. <laughs> Green, this should not be. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Why you didn't used to be green. Yeah, no. <laughs> you can raise a a, a, a X wing fire. You can't shave your toenails. Kind of messed up. No Use time for that. For that right? <laughs> well, that's everybody. I think. I think we said. Is, is there anybody that y'all would go with? I said Ariel for nice feet. Nice. Is feet. There anybody that you would go for like for the nicest feet? For the nicest feet. Mm. Nicest feet. Oh well, what about um, Cinderella? Oh, no, yeah, that's a good one. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. Really that's, true, yeah. that's a good one. Yeah, I mean, she must have like perfect feet, you know? I mean, only glass slippers shall touch her feet. It's like she should only walk on the petals of roses. Her feet shall only wear glass. Yeah, now we're getting all kinky and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> when did we not get kinky on the show? And I didn't even yeah. start it. Yeah, that is like, I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> this might be a precedent in that we're not. We're talking kinky about Disney characters, but when are we not kinky? Oh, shoot, man. I'll just say Tiana because I'm a fan. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm going to say, but I'm trying to, you know. Oh, Jasmine? Well, yeah, her feet don't touch the ground. She's on, she on the carpet. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, when would feet ever touch the ground? When you're her. around Jasmine, she never has to walk. Everything perfect. <laughs> I carry her. Don't get me started. <laughs> no, Tia, you'd have to change Tiana because Tiana was a freaking frog, man. There's all kinds of. It's mucus. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? Stop. She changed, man. It's mucus. <laughs> she changed your door like I do, man. There's got to be another character. Come on. Nice, nice feet. feet? The nice feet. Uh, tangled chick. She's got nice feet. No, okay. You know, we got to get outside Fun. the the box because it's all strictly I, I can like, imagine Mary Poppins has nice feet now that now you're talking now okay, you're thinking yeah. yes traveling by umbrella no corns but, no she's, <laughs> no. but she's naturally impeccable but she does wear heels though practically perfect in every way including yeah. feet yeah, including feet I guess so I, I would go with that. Mary Poppins. Mary I like Poppins, that. You like Mary Poppins? I like Mary Poppins. Mary Poppins. I think Jasmine's a great addition to it. I think Cinderella yeah. and Ariel. And Ariel, would, yeah. Ariel and Tindana got new legs. Yeah. yeah. Fresh, think, she got the fresh feet. You got the, those are the four freshest feet. So there you go. You got the four freshest feet and the four funkiest feet. <laughs> so though you got the four people that Lee would not serve shoes to and four that he would he serve shoes couldn't to. couldn't wait. People. Couldn't wait. He loves his feet. It. Yes, he'll he'll fit him in every shoe that's imaginable in the store. <laughs> he's in there with his nose. He's snorting it all and <laughs> getting all that <gasps> flavor. He's Get got all that. your essence. Mm. And he writes it down in his little mm. diary book. So that's our thoughts, listeners. What are y'all? Is, <laughs> What's is your anybody on feet? Is that yes. crazy? Is it's there crazy. anyone we miss? Yeah, l- yeah. Let us know. Is there, w- w- have you thought about this feet thing? Uh, yeah. Shoot an email. Let us know how long it takes for another podcast to rip that one off. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so happy. And if they do, shoot us an email at show at magic and share us your thoughts on that conversation. All right, guys. We hope you enjoyed our, our first episode of Magical Musings. 
by the Magic Army Podcast. Branding, branding. We've but, mused many times, but this is officially a musing that is magical. Yes, and we're focusing our musing to this musing show. Yes. Amusing show. Exactly. It's very amusing. So it's going to be awesome. So like, good guys. Oh, I like that. Let's rebrand it. Magical amusings. Magical <laughs> amusings. <laughs> I like that, actually. Magical amusings. Why not? So we do. All right. So for the next episode of Magical <laughs> Amusings, make sure you stay tuned. It's going to be great. So, but um, yeah, look, uh, the magicourway.com, that's where you can find all of our content, man. You, you'll find our YouTube stuff. You'll find our, po- our regular podcast stuff. You find it all there. So make sure you go check out with us uh, on, on that website. Uh, if you want to share your opinions, man, show at magicourway.com is our email. You can give us a call at 1 815 weekend. That is 1 815 weekend 669 4226. And also, Eli does things with comics. Eli, where can they find you, sir? Yeah, uh, you can find me at ivycomics.com, where I have everything I have for all of the projects that I do, Project Geisha, Savages, Molly Be Damned. Uh, there's a link to this podcast, so you're never left out. Uh, you can also check me out on Facebook.com, Eli H. Ivory. You can find me there. Uh, Project Geisha has a Facebook page, so Facebook.com slash Project Geisha. Instagram, how you doing? Right there, Eli 504 and uh, also on Twitter, I can be found at Hancock Tim One Sixty Six. There you go. And Lee, if they want to book a vacation down to Walt Disney World to check out those nasty Yeti feet, how can they do that with you, sir? Yeti feet. Yeah, just give me a call at eight three two four three one sixteen twenty one. You can email me at lee at magicrway dot com. You can find me at Facebook at facebook dot com slash lost the travel. On Instagram, you can find me at you got a friend in Lee travel. And on TikTok, you got a friend in Lee. All right, guys. So look, man, thank you again for indulging us on these new magical amusings that we'll be presenting to you. And make sure you get in touch with us because we always love hearing from our listeners. Magical amusings is going to be the next best thing since did you know this? That's right. <laughs> and slice bread it already. Yes. All right, guys. So look, make sure you get in touch with us. Share your opinions and uh, let us know what you think about this new segment. And this wonderful wordplay. <laughs> <laughs>